हेलो 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 अस्सलाम वालेकुम जी आया नु पखेर रागले नीहा मा चुने शुमे वशमले ओ हाय गुड टाइम इज गुटन मॉर्गन हाय हग्स एंड हेलोस एंड अ वेरी गुड खुश आमदी टू एवरीबॉडी हु इज ट्यून इन टू पीटीवी वर्ल्ड एंड आर वाचिंग वर्ल्ड दिस मॉर्निंग अलोंगसाइड महा मखदूम एंड शहजाद खान वी होप दैट एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग परफेक्ट नाउ लेट्स आस्क महा how does she feel hello maha how are you hello everyone assalam alaikum you know i'm like on the edge i just want to say hello and he's like saying hello and he's talking i'm very good today I'm, i've got lots of energy today actually yeah exactly you know whenever we come up with uh, these type of shows i think that's no, when no i don't think it know. is that it's all the show today actually i don't give the credit to the show <laughs> i give the credit to my boxing yesterday i finally started again properly fight fortress uh no right. actually i I'm, i'm going separate um, i'm doing it with someone else now um but fight fortress is still there they're still amazing my house which she actually goes to fight fortress wow. uh, but i'm having more a uh, like pure boxing lessons amazing that is so ladies and gentlemen let's get started with the show i think right now we need to move on towards yes. the top stories of this hour and i just cannot wait to introduce my guest as well our because guest. they are fabulous yes obviously <laughs> our guest because they have actually come from very far away place yeah. and they're lovely people and they're lovely to listen to as well so But i'm just dropping in the hints yes exactly so let's take a look at the top news stories for today So Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has said that Pakistan and Saudi Arabia are enjoying identical views on the on most regional and international issues and are both working side by side in service of their common interests and objectives. Amazing. Moving on towards the next top story, Iranian ambassador to Pakistan, Mehdi Hunar Dost, mm-hmm. summoned to foreign office to convey Pakistan's concern over reported remarks of Iranian army chief regarding cross-border action. Um and also uh Pakistan has called for a peaceful resolution of the Kashmir dispute at the o- at the OIC ambassador's meeting with the UN chief and this is what me her Lodi has been saying which is great to have the voices out there. Exactly. And now moving on towards sports and yes obviously in sports we do have news about cricket where the third and final test of the three match series between Pakistan and West Indies begins at Dominica today. All the best to the green teas. Exactly. So these are the top stories for this hour ladies and gentlemen right now I think it's about time to give away a public service message so for public service message over to my house Um we're going to be continuing our public service messages and uh, we can't give you a new thing every day because there's not that many things wrong uh, you know that need urgent attention but today it's about hydration it is getting extremely hot uh people are leaving the you know i left my car bottle a water bottle in the car and then i almost drank it then i remembered your message but Thank you. uh keep cold water you can freeze it in the f- overnight and then you put it in your car it will be cool you can give it to people on the street who may not have you know access to cold water and also um as yesterday we mentioned that if you've left your water bottle in the car don't use it again because of all the chemicals and stuff from the plastics and whatever exactly so that's our public service message now ladies and gentlemen let's move on towards our guest and you know yes. what we are talking about today so let me ask maha a question so oh maha what do you have to say about music i love it that's it it's okay. great i think people who are like who have a musical ability are very I really admire them as well. And I've got a very different feeling about music. Oh. For me mu- uh, for me music is just like uh a little baby. Uh, okay. For for me music is my life. For me music is something which makes me happy. For me music is something which can even make me sad depending on the mood as well. Mm. But other than that ladies and gentlemen music has a very larger role to play because yep. music has no language it has no boundaries so it brings people together and hearts together as well mm-hmm. and that's what we are doing over here because we have got somebody who's actually from Denmark mm-hmm. and they were here on this Saturday which pa- passed by everybody was there at uh, Lok Versa we enjoyed the concert and quite a lot yeah and you can also see that the trending on social media as well i can see them in my news feed from other people's uh you know pictures and what not and you know rave reviews as well and the first thing i did when i moved into the studio and i was asking them that you know do you guys remember me because i was hosting the show as well they were like yeah yeah we do remember you it'd be really you. bad if they said no <laughs> who are you that would be hilarious no but it was perfect because every now and then i actually had to move on to them because over here in pakistan i think i'm going to share this very interesting story yeah 
So we do have a five times prayer, right? Yes. And then what happened was since it was pray, prayers time, so I actually had to move on to the state and I had to tell them that, you know, can we just please hold it on for a second? Yes. And then they were like, okay, just let us know when can we start again. I was oh. like, sure, why not? So let's see whom do we have with us. Okay, so we've been very lucky. We've been joined by live strings. We've, they are the musicians who have been touring Pakistan and they did perform as Shazad said. So we've been joined by Christian Elegard. He is the violin player for live strings. Assalamualaikum, hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Uh, besides Christian, we've been joined by Leva Johansson. She is also the cello player for live strings. Assalamualaikum. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. I've been hearing so many great things about you. You've been seeing your photos everywhere as well. So uh, it's great. How, how is everything going? Tell us. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. We're doing great. Okay, great. Yeah, you guys are doing absolutely great because I almost uh, we can see you on each and every channel. So you've been yeah. giving away all the interviews. I think that's yeah. quite a lot of hard work going in. Yeah. But the other day I saw that Life Strings comprises of four members. Where are the rest of the two? I think they're sitting on a plane right now. Really? Yeah. So, so, so they're going back. So you guys are holding it back. But let's yeah. start our conversation when you performed well, when it was European Union anniversary, you were at the Euro Village. Yeah. How was it for you guys to perform over there? It was a really, really amazing experience for us. Mm. I, it, it was a night we will never forget. Um, it was incredible to, to see how the audience welcomed us mm. so open and so warm and the music we played. And um, I think it was for some of them new music mm. and just to be so open and sheer, sharing, sharing like yeah. that yeah. and uh, all the smiles mm. and the good karma. And it was, I mean, we felt so, uh, so happy. Wonderful. Amazing. Okay, so now tell us, um, how did you find? You know, how did you get involved with getting uh, with the concert and making your your second visit to Pakistan? Uh, yeah, it was organized uh, really well from the embassy. Mm -hmm. They invited us first in December last year, mm -hmm. and uh, then they invited us back now, <laughs> which we're very happy. And we also had co collaboration with some Pakistani bands. Mm -hmm. three, wow. Three different groups last time and. Uh, yeah, also some this on this tour, and uh, that's amazing to see how we can play together, even if our culture and musical experience might be very different. Amazing. Let's ask I you, how is it? How was it for you to be in Pakistan? Because it's your very first time. Yeah, it's my first time. So yeah, first <coughs> things first, because you know, you you guys might not even know this, but the Danish embassy over here in Pakistan recommended that it's if it's going to be somebody playing on the. Uh, European Union anniversary is going to be you guys. So, mm. so, so that's the inner news. Mm. So congratulations for that too as well. But we'll definitely talk about collaborations which you did last year. Mm -hmm. But let us just ask you, when you got to know about that you, you, you will be performing in Pakistan and it's going to be your very first time, what were your views when you were back in Denmark? Uh, my, my initial response was, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's go there. Okay, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So and when you go ahead, how was your experience? Did you have any ideas about it or did you know anything or were you nicely just open to everything? Well, I think I was open to everything. I, I spent some time in Doha. Okay. Um, I lived there for, for a couple of years, so I, I met some Pakistani and, and I think I got a kind of a sense of the culture in this area. Uh, okay. Not that uh, Qatar is, is uh, necessarily part of shares the but same from the people but you know the, yeah. the, the people and oh. so I, I think I had some idea about what it was but I, I at the same time I, I've never been here so okay. so it was a anything. and so when yeah. the people when you go here and the people you met them were they exactly how you imagine were they friendly were they welcoming how was it well everybody told me that Pakistanis were really friendly and okay. uh, they, uh, they they didn't surprise me in that okay <laughs> excellent uh, so it's really positive yeah they've been I haven't met any uh, any sour people here. Everybody's just been been so friendly and welcoming in there. How about you, Leva? Yeah, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone mm -hmm. is smiling and yeah. welcoming you and we have been taking so good care of and mm -hmm. invited out and mm -hmm. making friends. Last night we were also invited out and had a jam session at Hotspot. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of great. Pakistani musicians. It was amazing and just the atmosphere. It's Okay, and but this is your second visit to Pakistan. You were first in Pakistan in December, as you yeah. mentioned. Um, when you first came, did you were you apprehend? What were your ideas about it? Did you know anything on? Because obviously, when you first come here and you have yeah. a good experience, the second time is fun. Uh, yeah, um, of course. My immediately thought was like yes. Okay. And then 
um, of course, I went to the website to see like what the government <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah, and that was like really shocking. Okay, because uh, they actually didn't recommend you to visit. to visit. Okay, so and what would you say now? I would say it's completely wrong. I mean, I feel so safe, and everyone is so friendly, and I mean, it's. Yeah, excellent, yeah, wonderful. That, that is amazing. But now let's talk about your music as yes. well, because you've done quite a lot of extensive work yes. uh, throughout throughout the years. So they you have. Know, while I was while I was going through your profile, mm. I could see that you guys have worked with Kanye West, Michael Bublé, and the list just goes on. It's Car Park North and Appeal. How was it for you guys to make it so big, first of all, and then your own experiences of working with, you know, Kanye West, Michael Bublé, all of these people? Mm. It's um, I don't know, it's like, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Like when you walk on the stage there yeah. with Kanye West, it was uh, the huge, the biggest music festival in Denmark. Yeah. And you walk on stage and it was 80,000 people. 80,000. For, for Denmark, that's a lot. And it was like, sorry? Who was the name of the festival? Roskilde Festival. Oh, I've been to Roskilde Festival. Oh, yeah. Yes, I have. Wow. Yeah. I went a few years ago. I saw oh, you should come back. Yeah, I mean, it's wow. excellent. Uh, the people are amazing there as well. So you were there. That's amazing. Yeah. Excellent. And then what type of performers are these people? Because we have seen you guys performing now. Yes. Talking about Kanye West, Michael Bublé, and all mm. of these people with, with whom you guys have worked. What type of performers are they? Wow. Because we have been hearing uh, quite a lot of rumors about Kanye West anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to check what type of a person he yeah. is. Like as musicians, how is it yeah. to work with someone like that? They, they are just 2,000% professional all the yeah. time and wow. uh, always doing their stuff and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so now since we're talking about music, so uh, mm. do you realize that over here in Pakistan, the type of music we listen to, even though there are no boundaries, you know, music has no language. It's very different from what you guys play. All mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so how how did you guys manage that? Okay, so all the lineup which you guys played, because I can see an 80-year-old guy standing right in front of you guys, <laughs> and then six-year-old kid standing right over there, you know, trying to sink in with your music or probably just submerge into it. So how did you decide it, that, you know, these are the type of tracks we are going to play over there in Pakistan? Well, how much of a research went in there? Well, I think uh, I think when we decided what to play here, we uh, we thought we would uh, we would take the, the the songs that we can play the best and uh, that we feel represents our kind of music the best. Uh, uh, that's that's the only way to go, I think. Instead okay. of, uh, of of trying to think what would the audience want to hear, okay. uh, exactly, we, we, we try to to do our best, and and uh, it seemed like uh, the audience uh, they, they really enjoyed it. it. Yeah. So shall we get started? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So what do we, what do we have you know for all the audiences out there well, to begin with we have yeah. a little uh, a little swedish folk song folk yeah. song it's called um apple bow gong gong lot is that right <laughs> it sounds very good to okay. me <laughs> it means something like uh apple bow it's apple uh, home uh, yeah apple home uh, a song you can whistle when you walk so right. it's like a little walking song walk and pick your apples okay. Take oh, okay. Apple very, tra very traditional okay yeah. excellent
soothing. It's very mesmerizing. Because you just yeah. want to like start like marching to like down the road. Yeah. You know, the only thing we were, we were missing were these uh, traditional drums. Yeah. yeah, we did that last night. Tabla. Okay, <laughs> very tablas, nice. Yeah. Um, but I think I can do that too as well. Yeah. I, can, I can try, but I'm not very good with that. My sync is out. <laughs> 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 Most of the times, whenever I try to sing a song alongside somebody else. I actually I am left behind, so and I, I also really do not know where to catch up. <laughs> 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 okay. But please don't sing Shabbat. Okay, but talking about music, let's talk about the music people love in Denmark as mm. well. You know, because when we say music has no boundaries, that definitely means that you know people come together from, and it doesn't really matter where they belong, right? So, what type of music do people love in Denmark? And you know, since you guys are very big and huge over there <laughs> as well, so let's talk about that. I think they always like the music they know mm. like you know, what you have grew up with for i mean what you grew up with and maybe you, your parents played for you that has a special place in your heart so some folk mm -hmm. tunes and so it's more so of folk music and songs and so that's one part of it okay. okay and then i mean it's the popular music which you have in the okay. radio that's okay. a huge part of it so okay. let, let us know about a few artists from denmark as well so that you know for all those pakistani people yeah. who are out there <laughs> They could really, you know, search or look for them on internet or SoundCloud and listen what, to those okay. songs. In your idea, what kind of represents the Danish music scene these days? Apart from you guys, of <laughs> course. <Yeah. laughs> okay, maybe Lucas Graham. Okay. The, yeah. He's an uh, international star yeah. these days. I think I've heard that name. Yeah. 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 And uh, Mö? Mö? Yes, okay, I've heard that name. <laughs> I've yeah. heard them, but I'm not sure. No, no. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we played with both of these also. Excellent. Okay, now tell because you uh, you know just building up on uh, Shazad's question, you know, working with these like internationally like huge huge stars. Um, obviously, you have recognition. You guys are very popular. You're famous as well. What does it? Uh, and your style of music is different to what the, you know. It's not po pop music, so to say. Um, how do you guys keep it relevant? How do you make sure that you know this is what we want to promote, this is what we're going to keep doing without having to r become more co you know, commercial. But but we do, I mean, with our group, with Live Strings, we do really a very broad. Yeah. So we, I mean, we studied classical music mm -hmm. and we played uh, classical string quartet wow. when the four of us yeah. for that we studied that for years. Mm -hmm. So that's like a really deep love. Mm -hmm. But then we also have a passion for pop music. Yeah. So that's why we work with so many artists and we love it and we do the recordings and we go on tours and okay. play big concerts with them um, and then we try we also now these days making our own cd mm -hmm. where we uh, mix the classical music with so the it's going to be your own album yeah okay actually two albums it's on the we are working wow. on now Excellent. so that will be maybe next time we come back we can play <laughs> that'd be wonderful sure, uh, we'd be yeah, excited that, to we'd love to host that, that will be amazing but th there's more to it as well you know because when you see people uh, playing unconventional music, I'm going to say that it is very unconventional. People are not very used to of this type of music over here in Pakistan, especially. So I'm going to be more specific about it. Mm. So the instruments you guys have picked up. Mm. Yeah, obviously, you guys have been playing these instruments since years, right? Mm. And it was your choice to pick up an instrument when you wanted one. Mm. Why did you choose this? We'll start with you, Christian. Yeah. yeah, well, for me, I, uh, my, my parents played music, uh, so I was exposed to music since I was uh, born, uh, and I, I, I never really thought of doing anything else. Or even else before that, I think. Uh, uh, yes, probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I, I remember the reason why I picked the violin is what uh, I, I had this uh, uh, tape back in those days. Remember the, the little yeah, tape? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, it was, um, it had a lot of... Uh, music popular classical music the the new year's music that you listen to we l listen to these uh, concerts from vienna every new year mm. um, with a lot of marches and mm. uh, festive music and i i was listening to this all the time and i just fell in love with the sound of the violin and thought i want to be a violinist and that's wow. and how old were you then i think i was five years old or that's amazing yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you know, I think I can relate to that because for all those people who, who have watched this film, Guardians of the Galaxy, oh, yeah, yeah, that's this great, guy, yeah. he's got a Walkman, right? And yeah. he keeps on listening to one singer all the time and he's in love with it and he wants to go back to her to find more music as well. So Earth is definitely no, full of yeah. music, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, yeah, if the Guardians of Galaxy are listening right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and how about you guys you? around. How about you? Uh, yeah, I started actually with the piano. Okay. And, um, but then when I started with the cello, that was... Um, because in pan piano we're alone, but mm. when you play the cello, you went to 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 orchestra mm. where you play together with other kids. Yeah. Mm. 
and you got, I mean, your little melody, your own little melody became a part of this big, mm. big symphony or something. Yeah. And then you just felt like really something bigger. Mm. And Amazing. Yeah. And, and our instruments here, they are actually very old. Mm. They are from uh, 70, 50 and... Yeah, they're, they're um, uh, mine is from 1745. Really? Yeah. Serious? Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. And so this is five years older than this one. Wow. wow. And that's you guys have maintained it very well. So we're going to definitely... I'm scared now. Like, <laughs> that's really... Oh, my God. That's, like, giving me anxiety. <laughs> but uh, but yes, she's Yeah, so, you know, before we move on to, you know, in-depth in, in, in detail of, you know, their instruments as well, because they're very old and then how they've maintained them. Yeah. And, and also, I want to ask more about their experiences here as exactly. well. Exactly. We'll definitely talk about that. But right now, we do have a video. We've, we've managed to get our uh, hands on a video mm. where they were performing in Lahore in 2016. So we're going to get them a bit nostalgia, <laughs> you know, and let's see whether they get a bit nostalgic about it or not. And then we're going to move on towards the break. But when you guys are going to come back, obviously Maha wants to ask about their experiences. Stay let's tuned. go. Okay, so we did say we were going for a short break, so let's go for a short break now, and when you come back, we will continue our conversation. Good morning. Passion for polo will be the highest on the world's highest polo ground. Chandur invites visitors to experience a traditional polo tournament between the teams of Chitral and Gilgit. The tournament is held on Chandur Pass, the highest polo ground in the world, at 3,700 meters above sea level. The first time a polo tournament took place on the Shandu Pass was in 1936. It is a place unique and exotic in itself, surrounded by some of the most spectacular mountain scenery in the world. The event marks the annual rivalry between the teams of Chitral and Gilgit. The polo tournament has some added attractions for the visitors, trout fishing at the nearby streams and lakes, and a festival of folk dances and music of northern Pakistan. The event in itself offers a fascinating insight into the lifestyle of the people of this region. Their culture and indigenous customs are a delight to behold for the visitors. 
crystal clear lakes, snow covered mountains, alpine flowers, and vast stretches of green grass are added attractions. Fairs and festivals of Pakistan. Welcome back everyone and before the break we are in conversation with live strings and if you could turn down the volume because I can hear myself inside the studio it would be great, thank it's you. It's like we're getting a feedback over yeah. here but it's perfectly alright for everybody who just tuned in but earlier we were talking about their instruments, why they picked up on these instruments specifically and, and then they were telling us that these instruments are even from the 18th century so how did you get your hands on such old instruments? Well. Um my mother had a friend who needed uh, to have a lot of dental work done, uh, so she needed uh, fast cash. <laughs> <laughs> she happened to own this violin, and uh, and I happened to play the violin, so we, uh, we had an exchange. Oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. A violin for a tooth. Wow, that, that's cool. <laughs> that's something out of this world. Amazing. So, I mean, having such a, it's a huge piece of history with these, you know, 18th century, we're in the 21st century now. I mean, that's a lot of baggage there. <laughs> How do you um, carry that responsibility? Because it's a responsibility, you know? Or am I just over-hyping it? Because I'm feeling like responsibility for this. How does it feel, even? Mm, of course, you're very careful yeah. and yeah. that you get somehow used to it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, one of our friends, he has a really, really, really expensive str Stradivarius and mm. he don't even, when he go to the toilet, he brings his cello. <laughs> Okay. So he doesn't leave it. Okay. All right, anyway. so, so I think what we're going to do is that since now we get to know this fact that these <laughs> instruments are from the 18th century, mm. so I think we need to take a listen once again. So what do yeah, we have for it. us? Yeah. What is this? Oh, that's amazing. It's kind of the whole concept that it's from so long ago, it's here, it's playing modern music. It's amazing. I wish we even knew who, ha who had it in those days as well. It's all right. Now we will play something else, which you haven't heard either. Because okay. we, right. didn't, we didn't play it. Ah. Um, and it's very new. Ah, amazing. Yeah, it's a uh, song by Lucas Graham. Okay, excellent. Because we, um, we recorded uh, the strings on his latest album. So mm. when you hear him in the radio, yeah. we are actually playing along. Wow. Amazing. And That's great. Because he's doing so great, we wanted to make a tribute. He was nominated for three Grammys, and we want to make a tribute to him. So we did that together with our friend Andreas Burnett and he made these arrangements. Of course, we should be four of us, but yeah. we'll do it special edition Thank you. for you. Great, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
a tree. Yeah. I, I thought amazing. that you were, you were about to, uh, yeah, sorry. No, it was amazing. <laughs> like, really, that got to me. That was really amazing. I don't even have my like, next question ready because I got and to it the, And it was a new arrangement for them, and you guys did a great job that with that, so too. That was so good, guys. Like, it's, you can, it's on YouTube in the full version. Yeah, and I, I was imagining it. I was, like, getting chills. I was like, this is, I can't believe you guys are sitting here doing this right now. It's yeah. amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, so... Um, but now I think yeah, what, what we need to do is that we need to talk about the cuisines you have tasted over here. Oh, and the oh so excited. Culture. That's a favorite <laughs> subject. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. So then who loves to eat more, I think? You or you? Okay, okay both. So both of them. Okay, so we'll start with uh, you, Levers. Ladies first. So, a box now, what have been your favorite cuisine? Palak paneer. Palak paneer. Oh, nice. my God. Yeah, I okay. mean, but every, everything together. And it's so nice. You just order lots of dishes, and mm. then you share it, and okay. you can taste everything. And in regards to the spices, have you been handling those? Mm, quite <laughs> good, I think. Yeah. Actually, I really like, I always, mm. in Denmark, they ask when you, uh, like, order mm. the spicy food, mm. if you want, like, Danish spicy or, <laughs> like, Indian or what, yeah, and I always try to get it spicy. So I, I think I handle it okay, but I don't know. Maybe okay. I didn't try there. All right, well, and well, you yeah. know, for all those people who do not know what palak paneer is, spinach and cheese, and when you when we we, so we cook spinach <laughs> for, and then we put cheese but in it, and it's it's like the effect is more than Popeye as well. Okay, <laughs> so but I think yeah. I feel like a palak paneer would be quite a European like delicacy because they like cheese like you guys like cheeses right yeah. so yeah. maybe so it's not real because normally no it is <laughs> but normally people like um biryani so palak paneer that's great that you said that but have you guys and heard about biryani as well yeah have you guys tasted that yes do you like Didn't it like it it's very good okay. it's very good what about you christian what's your favorite well, I, I wish i could tell you uh, <laughs> but somebody else ordered all my food I, okay. um I, I loved all of it. Okay. Uh, if I knew what I what I liked the best, I would like? order it when How I come back. How did it look? Like? What did it have? Rice. Uh, the ingredients. Rice, uh, chicken. Um, biryani. I think you saw biryani. <laughs> <laughs> was chicken on top of the rice, or was it like on the side of the plate? I think we got it in in small portion, portions. All right. So oh, that means that, that it can it can probably masala. be masala. palau, chicken palau, or biryani. I think. Or fried. Yeah, I, I think that that's what it can be. And and the, you say so the brain masala. I had, yeah, I had the brain masala. And what did you think of that? I love it too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like nice. it? It's high uh, in cholesterol. Delicious. <laughs> it's high in cholesterol. Be, be very careful about yeah, that okay. too as well. <laughs> in a few days you have left home. Like, <laughs> yeah, so do, so do you guys plan to go to other cities as well? Because yeah, Lahore is very famous for food. You will be visiting Lahore. Yeah, I will go to Lahore okay. in three days or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now, because uh, the thing is, you do have uh, a little bit of time left in Pakistan. So what are you guys planning to do with the rest of your time here? Uh, I think we have lots of appointments with our new Pakistani friend. <laughs> Excellent. Well, yeah, we, 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 we would want to talk about the collaboration you guys had mm. in 2016 and what your plans are for 2017. So let's take a flashback as well. So we, which artists were there when you guys were actually collaborating in 2016? Oh. Do you guys remember the name? Uh, Raga Boys if Band. Raga, oh yeah, why? And Hashu Foundation. Yeah. And one more. Okay. Oh, it's perfectly fine. It's okay, and who do you look forward to be collaborating in 2017? Uh, actually, on this trip, we were meant to play together with QB. Okay. okay. But then we didn't have time to rehearse together. Oh, but that okay. would have been amazing. And we listened to our concert after we played. Mm -hmm. and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And we heard lots of strings in her music. Mm -hmm. So that would be amazing. Okay. And, uh, so, Kurt and so Lord, if you're listening, yeah. I think we can probably contact her by herself. <laughs> uh, and, you know, if you're um, there. I think that's yeah. a good offer. Okay, so now that's the thing. So now when you, with the rest of your trip, you have some performances as well um, mm -hmm. in Lahore, and you would like to share that with everyone as well. Is that correct? You wanted to share your... Uh, so how many concerts do you have left? Two concerts left and one video thing. Oh. Okay, yeah. you're going yeah. to take a video as so well. So, and where are these concerts taking place so that everybody can come if they are it's invited? in uh, Alhambra in Lahore. Alhambra, wow, okay. fine. And uh, what is the date? 14th of May. May. <laughs> so 14th of May, ladies and gentlemen, Live Sphinx will be performing in Lahore, Alhamra. Please make sure that you guys are there, and I think it's Check going it to out. be open for all as well. And they should also join us. On, uh, yes, we yeah. will share. Yeah, so uh, they also have a Facebook page and everything, so we, you can share that as well. Yeah, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube channel where you can see some of the videos, and there are more coming now also with our new uh, CD. Okay, excellent. That and we, we're going to be following you. And as now well. we well, do have a dedication for Vakas Bangladesh. Okay, you do not know the story. Vakas Bangladesh was our 
previous is, producer yes, or is he's previous. in China right now and the Bakas Banga is so you know since they were playing Game of Thrones team so what we oh my decided God, you just gave Maha, everything away. Maha, just gave everything so, away. so Maha decided that you know we're going to uh, dedicate it to you so you know over there in China ruined everything. I think this is for you shall we do it yes thank yes. you very much for you know being a part of it thanks for having thanks. us up for Shazad ruining the way to the <laughs> surprise uh, but no wonderful thank you so much that's fantastic um, I also can't hear the talk back so I'm not entirely sure what's going on right that's now that's perfectly all right great. and you know thank you very much for coming over thank we you would so much thanks for having you back much. again yeah and, you're you know. always welcome and when you come back you can release the new album on our show thank so. you so much yeah, yeah so great. we can do this exclusive interview and if I come to Denmark I'm going to be in touch oh. but <laughs> before we move on towards the end of the show if there are any last words you want to share with all those uh, people who love you over here in Pakistan on it all around the globe go ahead I get a message I'll say you are so amazing <laughs> don't change okay <laughs> yeah. what about you thanks for the amazing warm welcome and to everyone who come to the concert and to wrote to us and for being so warm and welcoming and open great really thank you very so much. much and I'm so glad you've had such a positive experience and have some more palak paneer yeah <laughs> I hope you guys and when you go to Lahore the food is even better there really? by the way oh, yeah wow. it's like 10 times so you better. do have to try pie over there and then no. nihari yeah, no and hari. then tawa chicken yeah. we'll give you a list afterwards <laughs> don't worry but now guys so that was live streaming we were really lucky to get them on our show thank you for taking the time out I hope you guys enjoy that but we now are changing from our vegetable uh, vegetable and fruit of the day to actual general knowledge information and so just interesting facts interesting facts yeah. so let's go ahead and let's take a look at some interesting facts Today. about kangaroos you're just giving <laughs> everything away yeah, today. Yeah, but we're sharing interesting like no facts surprises. about kangaroos, right? I feel sorry for your, daughter, your children. Okay, so the first fact is that when a uh, baby kangaroo is born, it's as small as a teaspoon. It is. It's so tiny. <laughs> and um, also, they may look cute, but they actually have some unpleasant habits. They regurgitate their food for the first time. Uh, they swallow it so that they can chew it and swallow it a second time. And then look at this. This is so oh, mean. Baby's tiny. Male kangaroos flex their biceps to impress females. Kangaroo males need strength to fight off their rivals. And researchers found they deliberately show off their muscles in order to attract a mate. <laughs> Just sounds like a quite <laughs> egotistical kangaroo here. Uh, it's, and they also can't walk backwards. Exactly. The red kangaroo, eastern <laughs> grey kangaroo, western grey kangaroo, and... And tilopine kangaroo. These are the uh, different types of kangaroos as well. And then kangaroos can swim and they can jump 
maximum, I think, towards their, you know, three times height. I think that's what the distance is. Okay. And also, are they really dangerous? So I and think they eat grass. I guess they eat grass. You cannot build muscles by <laughs> eating grass. Well, you need apparently, protein. no, no, <laughs> not as a kangaroo. Yeah. So that is our information <laughs> on kangaroos. Yes. Um, we've all now learned about the kangaroos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We are going to keep it interesting and different. So, you know, if you guys have any ideas that you want to learn about, do log on to our Facebook fan page. Which is with the name of World This Morning. Our Twitter page. World This Morning without a G. Our Daily Motion and YouTube page. World This Morning. And the repeat is at? 5 past 11. Please. And any links, we will be sharing them on the page today. So, have a wonderful day and we will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Till the next day, one, two, three. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you very much. Lychee. Lychee. Lychee? Lychee. Lychee is lychee. That's, that's <laughs> lychee? what it is. Whether it's English or Urdu. So let's take a look at the health benefits. I was just checking it was right. Yeah, take a listen to as well. It is uh, anti-stress and anti-wrinkle. It's high I in fiber. It protects your heart. It prevents anemia. It maintains eyesight. All right. Shazad, let me read some. And it strengthens? It strengthens your bones and it is also good if you are... Most of these things are all about weight loss as well and it is good for your brain. So if you would like to write a book, you can use and it. And it stops... Thyroid yeah, and this is, I think this is one of the most primary health benefit of this mm -hmm. uh, fruit because of the fact that quite a lot of people who go to the gym and they try to lose weight, they cannot lose weight if they have a thyroid pro problem. Mm. So leeches can be very helpful if you've got such a problem. So please make sure, otherwise you should get your thyroid checked. Exactly. Um, but with that, we ha that's all we've got time for. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and we will see you very soon. Do log on to our Facebook fan so page. So with passion, you can log on to our Facebook fan page, yes, which is do. with the name of World This Morning. Our Twitter page. World This Morning without a G. Our Daily Motion and YouTube World This Morning and World This Morning. And the repeat is at? 5 past 11 p.m. I hope you have, a we hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you very soon. So please make sure that whatever you do, you do it with passion and passion means that you're ready to suffer for all of what you want in life. So first deserve, then desire. Good morning. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you.